Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on Windows uh, 11 this time. Uh, I recently got the client consumer release of uh, Windows 11 and we'll be using VMware Workstation Professional this time in order to install Windows 11. I'm really excited and let's see what's in it. So again, uh, we'll try to understand the overall interface of uh, VMware Workstation Professional. You have different options over here like create a virtual machine, open a virtual machine if you have virtual machine which is imported from um, another computer or if you have created a virtual machine on another computer and if you want to import it on this one, you'll simply go to open virtual machine and import that machine. Uh, connect to a remote server. If you have a uh, server somewhere for VMware workstation uh, and you want to connect the clients to that, you can use this option. But since we are installing a brand new machine, we'll be clicking at this option called create a new virtual machine. Now there are two options in this one. One is typical, create uh, a Windows workstation uh, uh, virtual machine or if you want to do with the advanced settings like the SCSI controllers and stuff, then we'll click on this one. But uh, today I'm going with the typical installation of it and uh, you'll go and uh, browse the path of your exciting Windows 11. It's just a preview release of it, but let's see what's in it. We'll go next, we'll select Windows 10 in this one, Microsoft Windows over here and Windows 10 64-bit. You have other options as well if you are installing any other version of Windows. Click next and uh, we'll uh, name it uh, Windows uh, 11 over here and uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, the disk space you would like to allocate for this one at the moment I'll go for 30 GB um, I prefer having a single disk so that um, I can move it easily so I'll go with this option press next and uh, we can further customize the hardware if you would like now here uh, depends uh, how much uh, RAM do you have on your machine I have 32 gigs of RAM so recommended memory size is 2 uh, one is required for the host operating system on which your VMware workstation is installed. Maximum recommended is 27, but I'll move it somewhere around, yeah, 8 GB would be enough, I guess. And then uh, further, uh, we'll go to the processor. I think uh, that would be fine, uh, or let's increase it to 4. For a better performance. If your uh, base computer or the host operating system or host machine permits it, I have a powerful workstation over here so I can go with these settings. You can choose the default settings that you have but uh, I think that's pretty much about it and let's press finish. Now we have our virtual machine ready to be fired up and uh, power on this machine. So that's our look for Windows 11. They have changed the logo a little bit. Seems like that if they are going to continue with that. But since it's a preview release, uh, we are not sure if they are going to continue it like that or there would be any changes in that. Okay, uh, that's quite normal like typical Windows 10 installation. Starting the setup. Since it's a preview release, we don't have a key, so I'll press I don't have a key. And then we'll select Windows 11 Professional. Let's try. There are different options appearing in this one but let's go to Windows 11 Professional. You can read the agreement over here and if you agree, press I accept and press next. Uh, si uh, since we are not upgrading it from a previous version, uh, we'll simply 
uh, click on this one and we can see the allocated space that we have uh, you can create a partitions over here by simply clicking uh, uh, the size over here for example if I'll enter 20 GB and rest of it would be used for the other partitions but if you, if you have only this one partition available over here um, you can simply delete all these uh, other partitions which are created by default on Windows and uh, you can proceed with the entire disk since we are in a virtual environment I'll simply click on next over here and let's wait for it to finish and it has finished and it's restarting now This is our first interface for Windows 11 and we'll select as United States, let's continue. You can see an improved interface of Windows 11 looking really impressive so far. Okay, that's quite normal but excellent graphics over here. Okay, we'll select as for personal use at the moment since we are testing it. I don't want to sign in with a Windows account, so we'll proceed. We'll select offline account and it will proceed with that and I'll select limited experience over here. Name, I'll enter as admin password I'm keeping it open but do enter a password if you're using it for production purposes but since it's uh, just a uh, testing copy of it so I'm just proceeding with the default settings really improved graphics over here as well and seems pretty fluid over here so now it's setting up your profile that's something new okay so that's our initial interface and uh, you can see they have changed it a little bit for all the pinned items that we have for Windows and uh, you can see your uh, all apps over here it's just like a start menu and uh, if you click on it it will disappear and really nice background wallpaper over here and uh, I think that's the start menu now. If you click on this one, it's going to open the start menu. If you are clicking on settings, it's uh, going to the settings of it. And uh, it looks almost the same as it used to be in Windows 10. But uh, let's see the rest of the options in this one. So I have just extended it to full display menu over here in Windows 10. Okay, so let's go through different features of it. On start, we have seen that it's showing all the apps over here. And we heard that it's gonna be very good on playing Windows, like uh, it should have an excellent performance on that one. Search is appearing over here. Then we have uh, desktops, if you have multiple open. And then uh, our tiles are appearing over here we need to be signed in with Windows first uh, with the Microsoft account and that's our access pretty nice interface as you can see they have transformed the icons as well really impressive so far and uh, Edge is installed over there already as it used to be there before
we have the Microsoft Store over here. From there, we can install different apps. So that's our Edge, and uh, let's try to personalize it a little bit and go to themes and try to have the desktop icons over here okay and uh, now you can see the desktop icons appearing with a different icon set altogether and let's go to the control panel side and uh, still they have the same interface of Windows 7 which used to be there and uh, backup and restore Windows 7 still the same thing they didn't change anything on this one uh, same goes for the icons which are appearing over here and uh, let's go to the settings and uh, to system and let's try to see about and it's showing Windows 11 developer version and that's the OS build of it so looks almost similar to Windows 10 that we are using at the moment only they have shifted the start menu from the left hand side to the middle and rest of the things like uh, notification and stuff are still the same there's no difference in that maybe there would be some improvement in the performance of it so we'll have to see that uh, how that goes uh, when I'm right clicking on the taskbar, it's giving me the taskbar settings over here. Before it used to appear like performance settings and stuff like that, but uh, that's not there anymore. Let's see the icons which are open and you can see a bit of performance tweaks over here. The so way it's going to the taskbar and even we have some icons which are opened up here and if you have another desktop you can configure it over here so that's about our latest windows 11 that we have installed on our computer and uh, to me everything else looks uh, pretty much similar to windows 10 uh, no major improvement so far maybe they'll add some new features later since it's just the testing copy of uh, Windows 11. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.